Hello, I'm Dr. Terrence Harris and I practice obstetrics and gynecology in Boca Raton, Florida. I treat women from ages uh, adolescence through menopause and beyond. We combine traditional medical therapies with alternative treatments uh, such as acupuncture, massage, uh, bioidentical hormone therapy. Uh, I do deliver babies, so I have a thriving obstetrics practice as well. And we use all of these different modalities to help bring women to a higher state of wellness. That's the ultimate goal. Most of the medical issues that I was taught traditionally to deal with in women's health, PMS, menopause, infertility, you know, things like hot flashes, sweats, mood swings, uh, irregular bleeding, all of these tend to be due to hormone imbalances. It's become clear uh, through research and through experience that you know, hormones are not just about the individual hormone levels. Uh, they all work together. Hormones like estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, uh, DHEA, the thyroid, they all are interconnected, uh, sort of like a symphony of hormones. Uh, they all need to be in balance with each other. And that's what bioidentical hormone therapy is really about, uh, is balancing all of these hormones together. These are hormones that are exactly the same or bioidentical to those produced by the human body. So bioidentical estrogen is exactly the same shape and size as uh, human estrogen. Same with testosterone and progesterone. The difference between that and a synthetic hormone, uh, synthetic hormones are created in a lab to mimic the effects of these hormones, but they are a slightly different shape and size. So when hormones work in the body, they work on receptors. Receptors recognize the hormones by their shape and size. So if the hormones are not exactly the same shape and size as the original, there are going to be potential uh, side effects to that that you know, we don't want uh, and risks associated with it. The risk of uh, heart disease and the risk of breast cancer uh, with synthetic hormones. Those risks just don't seem to be the same with the bioidentical hormones. Well, oftentimes once we've started treatment, whatever that may be, there will be some symptom relief within a week or so. Uh, but it can take up to two or three months to get total relief from hormones. And even then, there sometimes need to be adjustments. So, you know, after about 60 to 90 days, we reevaluate what's going on. With bioidentical hormones, they not only provide symptom relief, but there is also a lot of evidence uh, for long-term benefits. Uh, things like reduction in the risk of osteoporosis is one, uh, something that's completely asymptomatic in most women, but uh, with the proper replacement of hormones can be prevented in the first place. Uh, things such as uh, Alzheimer's disease uh, has been shown to have a reduction of risk uh, with the use of certain hormones. The risk of cardiovascular disease uh, can actually be reduced uh, by replacement of hormones appropriately. Uh, the important caveat to that is that hormones you know, need to be monitored. You know, we can't just give hormones and assume that the risk is going to be lowered. We need to make sure we're at those optimal levels uh, of hormones in order to reduce that risk. In conjunction with bioidentical hormones, it's important to realize that none of it will work well if the rest of our body isn't functioning well. And nutrition is a very important part of that. If we don't have good nutrition, we can't produce the hormones we need uh, and we can't use them well. So we always uh, discuss nutrition uh, in my office. Uh, we have a nutritionist we work closely with uh, who sees patients for this very uh, issue and we want to make sure that everything is functioning well. Uh, part of that is supplementation. Uh, it's very hard to eat your way into good health, although that is of course how we prefer to do it, which means we prefer to get all of our vitamins and minerals from food. However, that's not always possible. Vitamin D is a great example. Vitamin D is extremely hard to get from food, and it's even hard, uh, surprisingly, to get from sun exposure, because in order to get enough sun exposure, you need to be in the sun without sunscreen for a prolonged period of time, which as we all know isn't recommended. So vitamin D is often a supplement we need to give, but it has great benefits uh, for long-term health. Vitamin D helps with the immune system, it helps with brain function, uh, it's extremely important. So supplements are a really important part of what we do as well. Stress is extremely important for our hormone levels and our general well-being. We can't always control the stressors in our life, but what we can do is control how we respond to those stressors. So. Dealing with stress is extremely important. We talk about things like massage, acupuncture, deep breathing. Um, these are all things that can help us to be uh, 
more healthy. It's important to realize that every person is an individual and medical care should be individualized to each patient. Uh, there is no one solution that works for everybody. Our goal is to find the appropriate solution for you. If you'd like to know more or would like to schedule a consultation, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, please give us a call at 561-826-3800 or go to my website, harrisobgyn.com.